A quick translation of what I just said. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you've been to my channel before, you know who this person is that you're staring at. But if you have never been to my channel before, well, let me introduce myself. My name is Daria and the person you're staring at is me. So with introductions done, let's just hop right into this video. So if you look on the back of product labels, whether it's hand sanitizer, aftershave, makeup, or skincare beauty products, you will find urea almost always on the back of the label. So let's start with the most basic question. What is urea? Simply put, urine is pretty much the closest answer. Urea is found in urine and that's where it comes from. Any creature that can pee, or well let's be more professional here, any creature that can urinate can make urea. However, urea is not limited to just urine. It can be found in blood, throw up, sweat, and even milk. Like everything else that exists in the world, urea is made up of atoms and elements. The elements that make up urea are oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, and carbon. Women and men likely use urea all the time even if they don't know it because companies put it in everything from hair products to makeup to skincare to shaving cream and even deodorant. So why do companies use urea? Since the idea of putting urine on the face does gross out most average people, the urea that companies use is not real urea from humans or mammals. The urea used in personal care everyday products is man-made. It is not real urea, it is synthetic. Urea in the industry is used as an antimicrobial preservative. That means that it helps prevent bacteria, germs, mold, and yeast from growing in products. However, like a lot of things that are man-made and not natural, it can be kind of dangerous because urea does release formaldehyde. However, like with most things, urea does have its good and bad points. So there are skin benefits to using urea. Urea is one of the most effective moisturizing ingredients in cosmetics. Urea's role is to maintain a healthy moisture balance, which keeps the skin soft and youthful. Urea is a natural component of our skin's tissues. It makes up 7% of our natural moisturizing factor, which decreases with age. Most ingredients just coat the skin's surface, which instantly moisturizes it, but it's only temporary. It doesn't improve the skin's ability to create and hold water the way that urea does. When urea is applied to the skin, it penetrates the stratum corneum, where it readily absorbs and retains water, which increases the capacity of the skin to hold moisture and rehydrate. Reduced levels of urea leads to a lower water binding capacity within the skin, which causes roughness, tightness, flaking, and irritation. Research has also found a link between severe dry skin conditions, like eczema or psoriasis, and which may be a result of reduced amounts of urea in the stratum corneum. In sum, urea readily absorbs water, so it moisturizes the skin, it reduces inflammation, helps the skin renew itself, and it removes dead skin cells. Okay, so obviously there's some benefits to urea, but there's always a good and bad side with most things. So is there a bad side to urea? Are there dangers associated with urea? Unfortunately, yes there are. Urea can be explosive, it can cause a fire, and it produces toxic gases. In addition, when it comes to skin and eyes, it can irritate the skin and respiratory tract. So it can cause dermatitis. And as mentioned before, it does release formaldehyde, which formaldehyde is a carcinogen, so it can increase your risk of cancer. Urea in its natural organic state likely has many benefits like the ones mentioned. However, the man-made urea is basically a little more than a chemical, and so it does come with dangers and problems. The question is, should you use urea? Well, urea has been used for centuries since ancient times. 
Urea from humans and animals is not bad. The urea produced by your body has a lot of nourishment and it has a lot of healing properties. In addition, urea can be used in emergency situations. If you do not have water, you can drink your own urea and it will sustain you as water for quite some time. Doctors and medical researchers have been proving in laboratory and clinical testing that our own urine is an enormous source of vital nutrients, vitamins, hormones, enzymes, and critical antibodies that cannot be duplicated or derived from any other source. They use urine for healing cancer, heart disease, allergies, autoimmune diseases, diabetes, asthma, infertility, infections, wounds, and the list just goes on and on. According to some, the act of washing your face or other body part with the first pee of the day is beneficial and is cleaner than distilled water. Ancient Eastern traditions believe peeing on yourself would cure allergies, acne, and rashes. And as beauty trends go, those jumping on the bandwagon cite 18th century French women doing it as their justification for peeing on themselves as well. In fact, some go on to suggest that you should rub urine on upper arm bumps, scars, pimples, and whatnot. So we're back to our question. Should you try urine or should you avoid it? Or both? Should you try urea? Honestly, it's pretty hard to avoid this ingredient because it is likely in most products in your home, from eye creams, foundations, cleansers, hand sanitizers to aftershave. So it's unavoidable. <laughs> However, if you use organic products, then you won't likely find urea in those products because Real organic natural urea is not used in everyday products due to the possible risk from contamination, bacteria, disease, and the very fact that most people would be horrified to find something like that in their everyday skincare products. I mean, when you use animal products, there are risks. If the animal had a disease, it will be in their bile, it will be in their urine. So yeah, it won't likely be found in your organic products. On the other hand, I would try to lessen exposure to urea though if you can, just to lessen the risk of cancer or dermatitis. At the same time, maybe consider using your own urine first thing in the morning to deep clean and treat your face. Since you know your body, you know if or what diseases you have, and you know if you're sick. It might sound really, really gross, but it is your own body's natural product. And it does feed the earth, so it can't be that bad, right? It is hard to go all organic, not to mention expensive, and it is likely in your makeup too without you knowing it. By being aware of the risks associated with urea and understanding what it is is a great start towards a healthier lifestyle. Since you're here with me, let's walk this journey towards health together.